Another technique I often use is to use smart color coding in my tables. So instead of highlighting the entire row, I just put the color right beside my last number. For Europe, if I put 500, I get red. If I put 650, I have green. If I have 600, I'm close, I'm within this threshold, so I don't get any color. There are different ways you can get to this. I'll just show you one of the ways I generally use. I'm gonna copy this area. Let's go to a new sheet. I'll paste that in. As a first step, I calculate my difference. Then I go to conditional formatting. I select new rule. And now to show you another option, I would say format only cells that contain the cell value. In this case, I want to keep my 15 absolute threshold. So I would say is greater than 15 format. The fill color that I want is green. And I say, okay, let's see what happens. I see green, but I see my number in there. To make that number invisible, I can highlight this area, go to Manage Rules. Edit Rule, you can change what you're working on. So in this case, you see, that's how it looks. I can see my text, that's my number, is black, and I can see my green cell. If I go to Format, I can change my font to be the exact same green that I selected in my cell, because then I can't see anything. And to get a better effect that I don't have the green touching the surroundings of the cell, I can say Format and I add a white border. I can add it here, 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 here. Okay, now I have a little bit of a border. So it doesn't stick to my other red ones. So now let's do one for red. So I say conditional formatting. I go to manage rules just to see my existing one. Add a new rule. Again, format only cells to contain. Now cell value is less than minus 15. Format this in, let's start with fill. I want it to be red, but I don't want to see the black font in my red. For my font color, I select the same red. To get that border around, I can select white. I don't want to see the ones that are within my threshold, the ones that are going to be white. I could add another conditional formatting and say if it's between, I make them white, or I just make my default formatting to be a white font. It's my default. And then I make this really small or as small as I want, and then it looks like this. And you see the white border makes them not stick together, which is more visually appealing. And obviously this is dynamic, just like the way we saw it. So 500, it's red, 650, it's green. That's how you can use smart coloring in your tables.